well, this is, yeah, it, this is where, <laughs> don't worry about it. It's, it's not a real grave. My name is Katie Herzog, and I'm a staff writer at grist.org. We're gathered here today to talk about my personal favorite subject, death. There are a lot of ways to die in the world. It's ALS, MS, IBS, scurvy, stroke, heart attack, being bit by a monkey, being hit by a car, constipation, being hit by a baseball, being crushed by a tree, house fire, car fire, boat fire, drowning, electrocution, choking on a corn dog. But even though there are a ton of ways to die, for a long time there have been basically only two ways to deal with dead bodies casket or cremation. But both burying people and burning them have big consequences for the planet. So we're gonna meet someone who is working on a better way to deal with death, human composting. And so to honor this, we're also going to dig a grave in my backyard. It's a rental. So what exactly is the Urban Death Project? The Urban Death Project is a system that composts people, but it's also a building where we can come and have a memorial service and take part in a ritual that begins the transformation of humans to soil. The infrastructure is basically a three-story core inside of which bodies and co-composting materials are. And on the day of a ceremony, after someone's died, the friends and family carry the body around the ramp. We'll lay the body into the core and cover that body with wood chips. And then over the next four to six weeks, we're estimating, the body decomposes. After a second stage of screening and sorting and a curing of the compost, you have what's like, kind of like this, created. Hmm, right. So it's like the most natural thing you could possibly imagine. Right, I do it in my kitchen. You do it in your kitchen, except it's probably a little gross in your kitchen with, yeah. you know, coffee grounds. I <laughs> actually don't. People love to say, like, what about the ick factor? That's so gross. I think what's much, much grosser is draining bodily fluid and pumping a body full of formaldehyde-laden embalming fluid. Yeah. With the Urban Death Project, I'm really trying to get at the question of what do we do with all of these dead people in cities? Oh right, because if we, we don't, don't have that many graveyards, right. so we have a lot of people. Yeah, so I think natural burial, which is kind of like what's happening here, is a really beautiful idea, but it doesn't make any practical sense right. in cities. If Katrina Spade gets her way, human composting will someday be as normal as burial or cremation. Maybe, eventually, it could replace them both. This may sound odd now, but is draining the body and filling it with formaldehyde really any less bizarre? I don't know. We accept burial and cremation because they're what we know. But maybe human composting is the greater option. It's cheaper, more ecological, and it keeps the cycle going. Mm -hmm.